Hey, what's up drummers? Hope you're all doing well out there. So the whole idea of this video was to reevaluate and tear down and start again everything I knew or thought I knew about miking up a bass drum. So I've always been an inside the drum guy um, since as far as I can remember, especially for live gigs. It's always much more convenient to just have the mic inside the bass drum and I'm sure you've all had the thing where your vocalist will kick the mic uh, or nudge it if it's outside the bass drum so that's always a pain and then that just translated to in the studio and recording my own stuff just leaving the mic inside the bass drum so today I'm going to check out the best uh, distance and the best position for an outside the bass drum bass mic position I'm constantly surprised at how different top engineers like to place their bass drum mic or mics um, and it seems to obviously work for them and you have to think about what kind of sound they're going for and what type of mic they're using. The room acoustics uh, plays a huge factor in it. The type of bass drum, how big it is and yeah basically the style of music and there's, there's just so many factors. So again coming back to what I said at the start being an inside the bass drum kind of guy and recently talking to someone who just had such a fantastic sound with a single mic outside of the kick drum. I chatted to him and got some tips and he suggested trying a few of these different positions um, and it really blew my mind and in my opinion my drum sounds have never been better so I'm so thankful to him. So here's my very unscientific but hopefully very practical test as I'm basing the distances on sticks. Quite often if it's a gig or a session, you won't have a tape measure on you. So you won't be able to get exactly the distance that you're after. So I like to make it a lot more practical and just use stick length. Some important things to mention right now, there is zero EQ involved at all in this test. I did put some light compression on just to boost up the volume a little bit. Uh, there is no gating, nothing at all. This is as raw as it gets. The bass drum is an old one. It's a 24 inch Heyman. The mic that I'm using is a Sennheiser E902. Fantastic microphone. And without further ado, now is the time to put on your headphones. Okay, position one. It's a little bit extreme. Two stick lengths outside, out the front of the rezzo head on the bass drum. Uh, pointing directly at the center of the drum. Let's check it out. Position number two is one and a half stick lengths right out in front, again pointing at the center of the drum. Position three, you guessed it, one stick length out in front of the rezzo head. Position four, half a stick length out in front of the rezzo head, right in the center of the drum. Position five is half of that distance again. So I guess you could think of quarter of a stick length out from the bass drum head. From here on out, we're gonna stay the same distance away from that Rizzo head. So with that said, Position six, we're going to move to the right outer edge of the bass drum. Position number seven, again the same distance, but this time towards the lower edge of the bass drum.
Position number eight is right in front of the porthole. Position number nine, it's a little bit of a weird one, but hey, you never know unless you try. What will it sound like close to the top edge of the bass drum? Position number 10 is a bit of a default for most of us, and that is right in front of the porthole with the capsule actually inside the drum, but the body of the mic still outside the head. Look, trust me, it is always a really good idea to tear things down and just start again, reevaluate everything. And you will be surprised at some of the results, I'm sure. Definitely let me know in the comments which number. That's why I numbered them, just so it was really easy for you to say, oh, number five, number four, whichever one is your favorite. I would be really interested and be a little bit careful of just going for volume because I kept everything the same throughout the entire test just to keep it completely legit, raw, and honest. It's pretty easy to turn up a fader. So, we're kind of going for tone and feel and what you're actually getting out of the bass drum as opposed to just simply volume. If you enjoyed this little test and you got something valuable out of it, make sure to subscribe to this channel. You can also hit me on Instagram. This is all at Andrew Rooney Drums. Instagram, Facebook, you can go to my website. I've got a whole bunch of free transcriptions and all kinds of interesting stuff on there. That's andrewrooneydrums.com. Uh, maybe check out my podcast, NZ Drummer Podcast. My most recent guest was Benny Greb, one of my favorite drummers in the entire world. So that is something amazing to check out. And I look forward to catching you guys on the next video. All right, take it easy.